think back on July 4th to two events in particular. Bunker Hill, when the Patriots put down their plows and took up muskets to defend our freedom, a tradition that has gone on in America ever since. Young men and young women risking their lives for our way of life. It's been a grand tradition of America, may it never end. And then when I thought of this cemetery, which I did this weekend, I thought of Abraham Lincoln at Gettysburg, which was fought around July 4th. And he talked about the hallowed ground at the Gettysburg battlefield and Gettysburg Cemetery. Well, in a sense, we are creating hallowed ground right here in Pembroke because the men and women who serve us are no less dedicated, no less brave, no less courageous, and no less important than the men and women who served in the Civil War and the wars past and future. Given the VA the go-ahead to evaluate a potential purchase to make the cemetery 50% larger, because they own a 60-acre park full of land adjacent to the cemetery, from the tree line back, is that what you told me, Ms. Hager? From the tree line over here. And that makes a great deal of sense. This would make the cemetery 50% larger and closer to the 200 acres we were originally seeking for this cemetery. So I want to commend Mrs. Fran Hager, whose family farmed these 60 acres, her husband Bob, a 30-year veteran of the Navy. Thank you for your service. We're doing another patriotic deed, and that is uh, offering their property to the VA for consideration. It used to be my grandfather's farm, and then my father farmed it, and then I was brought up here. And I uh, moved away to go to college, was married, and then we rented it. And uh, the land has gone back to natural.